Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I have for you a couple of my favorite things. So this is uh, President John Adams, and this is from an old, um, probably period piece, something from the uh, either late 1700s, early 1800s, this engraving. But what I'm really excited about actually is this here, which is John Adams' signature on a legal document. Um, the document itself has been clipped. It's also signed by a Sam S. Quincy. And uh, the document itself has been clipped, and so it's hard to really make much out. It is not in John Adams' handwriting, as far as I can tell. He, you know, his A's are very distinctive and small, and these A's are very loopy. But you can date the document, because from the other side, you can see over here in this area that you have uh, a dated portion let me see if I can get a closer look at it for you. Up in the corner here. Of course, it is backwards, and if you cannot tell, this is 171771, and this last digit here is handwritten, which is often the case in documents like this, and it is a 3. So this document is from 1773, and it is a clipped legal document with the autograph of John Adams. And uh, it's definitely one of the neater things that I've seen and um, or that I've ever had the honor to own. But, wait, there's more. There's this guy right here. Now, most of you will recognize that signature if you've seen anything, anything handwritten Anytime you've seen um, George Washington's signature, if you've seen commemoratives or anything, they, his signature was very distinctive. Of course, this is beat up a little bit in the middle, but this is something absolutely to romanticize. Um, you know, it's in this cool old frame, and it's got a really old typed up, typed up description, um, unusual document that gives a real thrill to the student of history. This document is an original army order signed by General George Washington regarding the movement of troops from the famous winter quarters of the American army at Morristown. Washington signed this order while he was an active soldier and commander in chief of the American colonial army. One receives an added thrill from the fact that at the time Washington made out and signed this order, neither he nor anyone else knew that General George Washington would win the American Revolutionary War become the first president of the United States of America, and become known as the father of his country. The officer receiving this order folded it and carried it in his wallet, as told by the creases across the signature, probably through the war, uh, because of it being a direct order from the great Washington. Even at the time, Washington was um, very well respected and uh, regarded amongst his troops, and uh, he was famous uh, some people get fam more famous after they die than while they're alive. Um, so these are two really cool autographs, pieces of history documents. Uh, John Adams autograph, you know, usually these are $5,000 on up. Um, George Washington, I think, are usually like $10,000 on up. Um, the Washington is not going to be available for sale. Um, I'm using these for a friend here, but the John Adams... The John Adams, I believe, is going to be priced at about $6,500 uh, on our website. So anyways, well, that depends probably on when you see this video, right? So thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.